Ah, shoot a tutorial today. Right here, I'm good? Yeah. You're not gonna wear a I forgot. Hold on. Is that better? There you go. Beta culture. Beta culture.co, guys. What's going on, Fader Culture? I'm Adrian Barone, and we're back with another tutorial. Today, we got my buddy TJ on the chair. We're gonna be giving him a low fade and still leaving the temple peak area a little bit dark so we can add the curves there. And at the end, we're gonna add a little bit of texture by point cutting. So stay tuned for that, guys. And it is my buddy TJ's birthday, guys, so help me down in the comments below. Wish him a happy birthday. With that said, guys, let's jump right into the tutorial. Give it a thumbs up, though, and do not forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And let's jump right into it. All right, guys, we're back on the voiceover train for this tutorial. As usual, guys, all the steps and tools that we'll be using in this tutorial will be in the description down below in case you want to follow the steps that way or just simply check out any of the tools. We're going to start by debulking the sides with a one and a half guard lever completely open. And I've said this many times, guys, it is very important to have the one and a half and the half guard. So if you don't have them already, check out the description below and go ahead and get them. And even with just debulking, guys, I dropped it towards the back a little bit. And now I'm going to start combing the top just to neutralize it as much as possible. Make sure that you are combing according to that cowlick, guys. Starting with no guard lever completely closed, we're going to begin with our first guideline and again we're going to start to drop it as we approach the back of the ear. And yes guys, my clippers are zero gap along with my trimmers. There's going to be a video down in the description for that on how we do it as well guys, so be sure to check it out. I highly recommend you zero gap your clippers guys, they cut way better, but there is a proper way to do it, so be sure to check out the video down in the description guys. And notice how I am brushing after every few strokes. This is just to clean the surface. Make sure that your guideline ends up at that same temple peak area on the opposite side, guys. Now for the next guideline, still no guard, we're gonna go ahead and open up the lever completely. And we're gonna take it up about a finger's width. Make sure that your guidelines are running parallel to one another so your fade is consistent throughout. Man, I haven't done a voiceover in a while. Y'all let me know if y'all like these kind of tutorials or do y'all prefer the in-person vlog style tutorials that we've been doing. And notice how I didn't come up all the way to the front with my guideline, guys. This is just so I can leave that area slightly darker. So when I come in and add those C cups, it, it, it's enhanced a little bit better. All right, guys, for our next guideline, we're gonna use a number one guard. Lever's gonna still stay completely open. We're gonna continue the process, taking it up about a finger's width. Just be easy with the wrist, guys. As you can see here in slow motion, I'm slightly flicking up as I come to the top of these guidelines. The easier you are with the wrist and let the clipper do the work, the easier it is going to be when we come back down and remove the guidelines. And notice it's up to the one guard that I still keep a small brush on my opposite hand and then just rebrush the area. It's now, right now, on the next step, I'm going to put on the number two and I'm gonna switch that brush for a comb. Go over it as much as you need to, guys. So for the next step, like I mentioned, it is a number two lever completely open. And again, go ahead and switch out that brush for a comb now. And now instead of brushing, you're gonna reset the hair by using that comb after every few strokes. Like I mentioned guys, go over it as much as you need to. The point is to get these guidelines as clean as possible. So when we start coming back down and erasing them, it almost just feels like we're doing touch of work.
for the final guard guys it's going to be a number three lever still open just continue the process and you're going to notice here guys if you're easy enough with that two and a half it should blend right into that three there should be no guideline in between the two and a half and the three So again, just stay easy with the wrist. I know a lot of the times when you begin your barber career, it's almost like intentional to want to dig in the clipper more just because we think it's going to remove the guideline or create a guideline. But in all reality, guys, the clipper does the work. Just adjust the lever as you need to. Now to finish connecting the sides to the top, I'm going to use thinning shears over comb. This is just so I can debulk all that weight from the parietal ridge and crown area faded culture thinning shears and shears coming soon guys stay tuned for that they're gonna be just like this matte black with japanese steel man they're gonna be so sick i'm super excited for those All right, guys, we're pretty much done setting up the canvas. By now, you should have the first guideline that we created with the zero, second that we created with the lever fully open, and third with the number one guard lever fully open. Everything else should have blended right in like I mentioned. We're gonna start with that top one and work our way down. Using my one and a half guard, notice how I close the lever just slightly. I'm basically putting it into a three fourths position. It's basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open. We're going to attack that top guideline. Take your time with all of this, guys. My haircuts do take me anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes. Do not rush. Especially if you're just beginning. I remember when I first, first started, haircuts would take anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours. And that's just practice, guys. So do not get discouraged. Time will inevitably get faster. So just focus on the technique and focus on the details. Now that we're done with that, for the second guideline coming down, we're gonna put on that half guard and leave the lever in that 3 fourths position, guys. Our, our technique, our method is very, very simple, guys. Again, it is in the description down below in case you wanna follow along that way. But notice how the lever stayed open as we set up the canvas. And now that we're coming back down and removing these guidelines, the lever is gonna stay in that 3 fourths position. Notice how this half guard is creating a faint line right above it, but do not take this half guard any higher guys. We'll come back right now with my number one guard and remove that line. Just focus on taking off that initial second guideline. Again, go over it as much as you need to, guys. So like I mentioned, now we're gonna put the number one guard lever still in that 3 fourths position and attack that faint line that the half guard created. And guys, I don't know if y'all follow us on Instagram and if you don't, please go ahead and do so. They are linked down below in the description. And I just wanted to mention that we will be in Connecticut May 14th through 16th. I, under, I know it's one of the largest expos here in the States. 
I hope to see a lot of y'all there, guys. It's going to be so fun. If y'all haven't bought y'all's tickets already, guys, do so. I'd love to meet every single one of y'all, man. And not to mention, we are going to be seeking ambassadors for the Faded Culture brand, guys. So be sure to stop by our booth if you do go. As you can see, the blend is starting to come together here. And finally, for the last guideline that we first started with, it's gonna take three lever positions, starting with the lever close, then we're gonna open it halfway, and finally, fully open. Just a three-step technique. We're gonna focus on one side of the head at a time because this last line is very tedious. So take your time with it, and we're gonna take each of those notches up just slightly, guys using mainly the corners of the clipper to attack this step. So second, we're gonna put the lever halfway. And finally, lever completely open. It's just a three-step process. Notice here how I'm even angling the clipper even more, almost only using that last tooth of the clipper. This is just so I can get into these tighter areas without taking the fade up any higher than I need to. You're gonna notice with this last step, I do brush after every few strokes, guys. And just repeat that three-step process but do break down the head guys into at least three parts focus just on one side then attack the back side and then attack the opposite side Again, guys, very simple, a three-step process, finally on the opposite side. If you've made it this far, guys, and if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up, guys. It really does help the channel, and it just, you know, hypes us up to keep creating content for y'all guys. And are learning how to cut hair at no charge to y'all guys. So just please give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, we're almost done. Now with the half guard, I'm gonna go ahead and put lever play because the touch up work is gonna vary from client to client and from even one side of the head to another. As you can see, I'm pointing out some dark areas here and those are the areas that I'm gonna attack with this half guard. And for to spot these guys, you can always either take a step back or view your client from the mirror. It really does help to take some space. That way you can just try to notice these dark areas and work at them. 
and don't get discouraged if you don't see any at first guys i feel like this kind of just comes with time is developing an eye for the details and how to perfect them and even the lever play you're gonna with time you'll be able to spot a dark area and know exactly what guard and what lever position will need in order to take off that dark area finally guys using my trimmer in this forward position just to get a little bit closer to the scalp and go ahead and remove the faint line that that creates repeat that process all around the head guys and you'll see why i'm doing it in a forward position when we start to remove that bottom hair So now that I'm removing the bottom hair guys, by using the trimmer in that forward position, we created a small distinct line from the fade and that bottom hair. And this faint line is gonna be used as a guideline for our electric shaver. Now we know exactly how high up to take our electric shaver. using my electric shaver in a regular fashion until we get up to that faint line guys you're going to want to turn it around and use it as if it was a clipper release tension as we approach that faint line just so we don't take the fade up any higher or you could even just use the corners of the shaver on that faint line Using the back of my fingers guys just to try to feel the direction of the grain to ensure that I am shaving against the grain and I'm getting the closest shave as possible. Here I'm grabbing the hair from the scalp and point cutting guys. This is just to add texture. Just repeat that process from side to side and then front to back. The steeper you angle your shears the more texture you will create so keep that in mind guys. Here I'm going to clip some of his bangs out of the way and start trimming up those hairs. Starting from the center position and then work my way to one side. And again guys my trimmers are zero gapped. I highly suggest you do so as well. But like I said there is a proper way because if you overly gap them guys they're going to be biting and scratching on your client and you want to make sure that you don't do that. So anytime you zero gap them, you always want to test them on the inside of your forearm. Again, there is a video down below on how we do that. We walk you through the whole process. Inserting my blade into a faded culture swing lock blade, guys. Coming real, real soon. For right now, we got the Turkish Razors on the website, fadedculture.co, in case y'all want to check them out. As usual, guys, our shaving process, you always start by shaving with the grain and then follow that by shaving against the grain. And always using your opposite hand to help stretch the skin just to ensure a softer, smoother shave.
All right, guys, to finish it off, you want to blow dry the client and get as much hair off as possible, guys. I do take that step serious. I want them to get off the chair and go about their day without having all this hair on them, guys. Here, I slightly damp the hair so I can blow dry it with high heat and high speed. I want to I want to get the cuticle to really open up and really fluff the hair up so I can bring out that texture and then finish it off with the cool shot so we can then close that cuticle and the hair can stay in the upright position. Adding a little bit of matte pomade, again, just to bring out the texture that much more. Finishing it all off with a little bit of enhancements, this gun is in the description down below as well, guys. Here's the before in case y'all forgot, guys. And finally, here's the after. Alright guys, so there you have it. We finished up a bald mid fade while still leaving the temple peak area dark so we can curve it. Then we added texture on top. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If I made it all the way to the end, please do so. so please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one guys. Peace.